Here we have a sentence about the little-known feminist author Lucretia Mott. So first of all, this phrase that appears in A and B, arguing in a treatise. This is awkward and redundant. A treatise is an argument. Now, a treatise might argue for something, but to say that she was arguing in a treatise, that is just redundant. So A and B are right out. The second is, notice that we have a split, some, some of the answers talking about advocating or advocates and others arguing. When we use the word argue, we have to use the pre preposition for, to argue for veterans benefits. When we use the, the verb advocate, we don't use for, to advocate veterans benefits. And so notice that these two forms of the verb advocating are not followed by for in the underlined part, but the problem is that she's arguing or advocating two different things, and the second one is not in the underlined part and has the word for. And so because the word for appears there, we can't have the verb advocating. So those are out. And notice that very quickly we have just blew away the first four answer choices, so we're hoping that E actually works here. But what we have in E looks pretty good. A treatise that argued, all right, that's perfectly acceptable, for something and for something else, proper parallel structure. So this is actually sleek, direct, grammatically correct, a very solid answer choice. He is by far the best answer choice.